Yo guys, it's your boy Dylan, and today we're going to be doing some NFL Week 15 predictions. And this week, instead of four teams, I actually have six teams, three of them which that are either going upwards or three of them that are going downwards. A very steep downwards, but maybe not that steep, but if you know what I mean. So, to recap last week's record, unfortunately, I had a losing record because some of the winning teams or first place teams actually lost games. Or actually lost week 14 and we're gonna start things off with the chargers and raiders for some thursday night football which is gonna be tonight uh chargers unfortunately lost uh justin herbert as to where the raiders they are coming off of a very low scoring but a three point loss literally three nothing was the score mm, that was by the vikings but i feel like after three consecutive losses the Raiders are going to get back on track. This is already a bold pick right here. I'm saying the Raiders are going to get a win here. Vikings and Bengals. And for this week, we actually have three Saturday games. This is one of them. This is the first game for Saturday. The Vikings, on the other side of the ball, 3-0 over the Raiders. As to where the Bengals, ever since uh, that new quarterback came stepped in with the Bengals... The Bengals have been pretty offensive lately on offense. You know, I'm going to give them a chance over the Vikings. I'm going to say they're going to beat the Minnesota Vikings. Next up, we have Steelers and Colts. Both teams currently have winning records right now. Uh, the Steelers, they lost to a double-digit loss a Patriots team. As to where the Colts, they lost to the Bengals. I'm going to say the Steelers, after a couple devastating losses, I wouldn't want to say devastating, but a couple losses to bad teams, I'm going to say it's a bounce back week for the Steelers, and they are going to beat the Indianapolis Colts. Moving on to the Broncos and, and Lions. The Lions, the last three games, they have been back and forth, you know, a, a loss, a win, then a loss. As to where the Broncos, it's been a win, a loss, and then a win. And the Broncos, the last six games, they've been they've been a pretty good team this the last six games. They've been what? Uh five and one. I'm um, but with how good the Lions are, I think it's gonna be a bounce back week for the Detroit Lions, and they will reach ten wins this week. Giants and Saints. Giants pulling the upset. On Monday Night Football against the Packers, as to where the Saints, uh, they just beat a one-win Panthers team. What's new with that? I think it's going to be, but I do think it's, it is going to be a Saints win anyways. Moving on to the Bears and Browns. The Bears, they pulled off an upset over the Lions, as to where the Browns, they've been a decent team lately. Yes, they lost back-to-back games but this past week they were able to bounce back with a win i'm gonna say some of that um some of that winning what they have with them uh with joe flacco joe flacco's uh play right now i think that is going to continue through week 15 and they are going to get a win over the bears moving on to the falcons and panthers the falcons they're literally uh well that's on the other side of the ball with the Panthers again at this point you might as well just root for a number one uh pick for the upcoming draft but the Falcons they did lose to the Buccaneers I'm gonna say the the Falcons are gonna win week 15 over against a one win Panthers team moving on to the Buccaneers speak of the devil we have the Buccaneers playing off against the Packers Packers uh their playoff hopes might have been put to a dent or they might have gotten a dent to their playoff hopes after losing to the Giants as to where the Buccaneers they're just clinging on to that division title I mean I believe there are what seven six and seven and six or no six and six, whatever record there are whatever the record they are I think the Buccaneers are actually going to lose in week 15 against the Packers I think the Packers after that loss against the Giants I think it's gonna be a bounce back week for the Packers moving on the Jets and Dolphins Jets, they uh, had a blowout win against the Texans last week. As for the Dolphins, you know, there's actually a few first place teams that lost, like I said. Like the Dolphins, for example, the Chiefs, we're going to talk about them here next. Um, and they'll also be on my uh, list here shortly that we'll be talking about here later on. I think the 
Dolphins before they start, you know, losing more games, I think it's going to be a win and for the Dolphins to go double digit in the win column. But the but if you want to know who the Dolphins lost to, they lost to the Titans. They're literally like the second to last place team in the NFL right now. Maybe. Moving on to Chiefs and Patriots. Yes, for the Patriots, they got that win over the Steelers. But later in week 14, they would find out that they are the first AFC team this season to be eliminated from contention for the playoffs. As for the Chiefs, they're, they've lost back-to-back. They have, they've gotten back-to-back losses for the first time since the 2021 season. And they have matched their loss total from 2021 I'm saying, bef- I'm saying the Chiefs, they're going to avoid losing their sixth game of the year, and they're going to beat the Patriots. Next up, we have Texans and Titans. The Texans in Week 14, they were, like I said, with the Jets. Um, the Jets were able to blow them out, so the Texans weren't able to go eight to have their to grab their eighth win of the year. As for the Titans, they were able to pull off an upset over the Dolphins. But I think the Texans will get back on track and they will secure the victory in week in week 15. Got my words right here. All right, moving on to the 49ers and Cardinals. The Cardinals, they are coming off of a bye week. As for the 49ers, they are the first team in the NFC to go to the postseason, to clinch a postseason spot. I think the 49ers are going to continue into week 15 with a victory and at the moment, if the playoff, and if you actually paint the picture here, if the playoffs ended, or not playoffs, if the season ended today, the 49ers would actually be a one seed for the postseason. Because uh, after that victory for the Cowboys beating the Eagles, the 49ers would have the better record. Commanders and Rams. Commanders, both teams had a loss, but the Rams, they were actually coming off of an overtime loss. But I think it's going to be a bounce back week for the Rams as they will beat the Commanders. Make the Commanders get their 10th loss this season. Next up, we have Cowboys and Bills. Like I said about the Cowboys, they were able, finally able, I wouldn't really say finally able, but they were able to beat a good team. And that was the Eagles. A, like the best team in the AFC, not AFC, NFC. They were able to beat them. As for the Bills, they were able to beat the Chiefs in week 14. But I'm thinking the momentum for the Cowboys is going to continue into week 15 as the Cowboys will beat the Buffalo Bills. For Sunday night football, Ravens and Jaguars. Jaguars have lost a couple of, they've lost back-to-back games, unfortunately, as to where the Ravens, uh, they are the first team in the AFC this year to have double-digit wins I am saying, with the Ravens, they are going to get their 11th win this season over the Jaguars. And I think for the first time, well, not really, well, well, for the first time since the 2022 season, part of the 2022 season, I think the Jaguars are going to lose three in a row. I think, you know, they're going to lose three in a row, unfortunately. And next up we have, and finally, at, to conclude week 15, we have Eagles and Seahawks on Monday Night Football. Eagles, they've actually lost back-to-back games, back-to-back losses, that had that they've allowed 20 or more points uh, with, with, their cor- with their current score, like 20 or more points when they lose the game. Because 42-19, that's like, what, 23 points right there? 23, 24 points right there? And then they had that loss against Cowboys, which is a which is a 20-point difference between the 13 that the Eagles scored and the Cowboys. But the Seahawks, as you know, they looked like around midseason they were going to be that maybe the team to contend for the NFC West title. But, you know, that's starting to get away from the Seahawks. So I think the Eagles are going to win and maybe even clinch the postseason. So I'm thinking the Eagles are going to bounce back after a after back-to-back losses, I'm thinking we are going to see a win for the Eagles. Now, time for my six teams that are either, well, three that are either going upwards or three 
that are going to be going that are right now in the process of going downwards. Starting off with going downwards, we have the Los Angeles Chargers. Here's a here's a potential blow right here, which is a blow. Unfortunately, Justin Herbert had a season-ending injury uh, last week. So that I mean, Justin Herbert is literally their best quarterback of the roster for the Los Angeles Chargers, and it looks like my dad's gonna sneak into the video here. Fire Staley. Yeah, Fire Staley. I hope they do actually. But if that, but you know, since but they since the Chargers don't have Herbert, that's a blow for them, and they could be going downwards from here. Upwards, I have the Broncos. Like I like I explained earlier, the Broncos. Literally in the last, you can also say seven games. They're six and one in the last seven games. Yeah, they're they, finally starting to come together. Yeah, they're coming together. And after the Lions, their last three games are all teams that have losing records. Yeah. So they could literally either A, double their win total from last year, B, have a winning season, or maybe C, have double digit wins, or maybe even D, Find yourself in the postseason. They could. Anybody's in the postseason. Right now, they're one game behind the Kansas, Kansas City, City Chiefs. Chiefs. And speaking of the Chiefs, they're I am going to be talking. And speaking of the Chiefs, yeah. I'm going to be talking about them right now because, uh, unfortunately, back-to-back -back losses for Kansas City is um, not great right now. It's not looking good right now in Kansas City. They've lost their last four of what? Four of like five games or whatever. not not four or five then they would be a horrendous team. But anyways, unfortunately there was a very controversial call. If I have to let my dad explain that, go ahead. I'll let him go ahead. But there was a very controversial call. It was offsides. It, it was an offside on the offense because it that was one offside of where he was. And you know you can't. Yeah, you're ticked off because of, it was a great play. The lateral pass back to Tony, but. You're offside, which really negates everything. The Chiefs have a lot of work to do. They have a lot. And don't get me wrong, you know, everybody wants to... And I'm going to say this 100%, and it's not sticking up for Mahomes or anything of that. Frustration is part of the game. Everybody's saying that he lost his temper. It's human. It's what happens, especially when you're losing. Tom Brady has done the same thing. He's thrown tablets, you know, Everybody wants to look at that. Mac Jones in the middle of you know a losing season. He's thrown his helmet on the field. It's part of the game. It's part of the nature. There's passion. However, the Chiefs have a lot of work to do offensively to really keep themselves in the in to where they're making those playoffs. Yeah, their schedule looks pretty. You know, it, it, in worth. In, in in terms of things, easy, but it's not really easy. They need some wide receivers. You know, everybody's found out to block Kelsey, which leaves everything out. They need to really upgrade that core. Yeah. I'll let you go back to everything. Yeah, so Kansas City. And also, Patrick Mahomes has not had a less than 12-win season to, to put this on the board, too. They have not – I mean – Patrick Mahomes has won 12 games or more every season that he's played. This could be one of the this could be his first ever year where he doesn't win 12 games. Yeah. But they need to get their they need to get their act together or else you know, they could be a lower end seed. I mean, you got again, you also got to watch out because the Broncos they're trying to catch up. They're trying to catch up. We may have a contender in the AFC West to try to dethrone Kansas City for that division title. But going upwards now to the Cleveland Browns, Joe Flacco, heck, I might have to say this, but Joe Flacco, he might actually be doing better than, uh, he might actually be doing better than, uh, Deshaun Watson, but, uh, if the, but there are two winnable games for the Browns, and if, and if they're able to win those, all they need is one win, and they can have a winning season, two more, and they can have a double-digit winning season, maybe even a postseason appearance, so, the Browns, they're... I mean, after back-to-back -back losses, they were able to beat the Jacksonville Jaguars to get back on track and go 8-5 and five on the season. To going downwards, unfortunately, I have the Raiders. Yes, three consecutive losses. Unfortunately, heck, they lost 3-0, and they were still... Heck, 
I mean, three nothing, and they were still lost. Oh my goodness, Raiders. That's my, my my last downward team. And now for our sixth and final team, I am going up, which is the Cowboys. Yeah, that that was a big win right there. That was potentially a big win for the Cowboys last week. I mean, 33 to 13, beating the Cowboys. You know that, in my opinion, that proves a bit that yes, the Cowboys can beat a good team. I I I think that that like I said, that proves that the Cowboys can beat good teams. And they, and even better, the Cowboys actually overtook, at the moment, the Eagles for a first place lead. And with the division leaders, the Cowboys are in there. They're like, what, second, third seed for the playoffs? I think they're second seed for the playoffs for the NFC. And the Eagles actually took the step back. After losing back-to-back games, the Eagles actually took the step back to the wild card. But... You know, we still have four more weeks left of football. Anything can happen in the next four weeks. So, literally with that, that will conclude it for today's video. If you guys want to see more content like this, then smash the subscribe button and smash the like button. Comment if you want to see something else. And until then, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.